Glory be to God forever and ever. I want to give, this is what I want you to hear now. I want to read something for you to hear about what God wants to do in the whole world. I want you to listen now. Just listen to what I want to read now. I'm reading the book of Revelation chapter 19 from verse 11. Revelation chapter 19 from verse 11. Now I saw heaven open. And behold, a white horse and he who sat on him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no one knew except himself. He was coated with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies in heaven quoted in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should strike the nations, and he himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself will tread the wine place of the fear, fierceness and the wrath of Almighty God, and he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings. And Lord of Lords, my word to you is that God must rule the, the earth by force. This is my word. One word I want you to hear about the word, what God said about the whole universe, that our God, the Holy God, must by force rule Nigeria, must rule Nigeria. Jesus must be Lord of all the lords in Nigeria, and Jesus must be king of all the kings in Nigeria. Jesus must rule the whole Africa, whether they like it or not. He must rule them by force with a rod of iron. This time he's not begging, by force. Jesus, the word of God, must, the word of God must rule over the whole Europe, over Germans, over the whole Europe, whether they like it or not. The word of God must rule over America, whether they like it or not, whether they like it or they don't like it by force. He must rule the whole America. Jesus must rule over Asia. The word of God must rule and control all the Asian countries, whether they like it or not. He must rule. He must be the king of all the kings. And the Lord of all the laws in Asia. Jesus must rule to the ends of the earth, whether they like it or not. He said it here by force. My word, one word I have for the whole world is that the word of God must prevail, must rule over, over, over all the evil we are seeing today. In the whole world. Watch it out. This is the word of God. By force. By force. Out of his mouth goes a sharp sword. That with it he should strike the nations. And he himself will rule them. With a rod of iron. With a rod of iron. By force. By force. The word. One word for the whole world. One word that I am telling you today is that the word of God must rule over the whole world. Now, whether they like it or not, the word of God must be king over all the kings and the Lord over all the lords in the, in the whole world. Okay, watch out my next video. I'm going to be talking about America. I'm going to expose a lot of things, a lot of things about America. I will tell you, I will be telling you something and I will be connecting it with what's going on in Nigeria in America because they have become one, Nigeria and America. Nigeria is America in Africa. Nigeria is America in Africa. So I will be talking to you about America and I will also be referring, referring, I'll be referring to Nigeria. God bless you. Very good. I want you to keep on praying. You to just hear what God said. Please join me in prayer. Evil we are seeing today, we must see them no more. Join me in prayer. 
every time. Pray for the whole world. Pray for this evil to be no more. If you truly love Jesus, if you truly love our righteous God, if you truly, if you truly love our God, our holy God, you have to join hand to pray. Say, let there be no more evil. Let there be righteousness in the earth. In the earth. And it's now. It's now. Join and pray. Please read your Bible. Read the word of God. Every time the days are short. The days are short. Join in prayer. Join in prayer. Pray effectively now. Let the will of God be done in the earth. Evil, evil is weak. Evil come to rule over, over good, over righteousness. There's a lot of power in good than evil. So, good must rule over evil. Righteousness must rule over unrighteousness. So, I want you to hear this. Please, try to join in prayer. As we all, as we are waiting for the for the judgment day that God is heaven is preparing that we hit the earth. The judgment is already here. In one day, in one day, the evil you are seeing now we see them no more. In one day. It happened, it happened in the day of Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah, God end end them forever. It happened in the days of old, in the days of Noah. God end the wicked. He is still God. He is, he is the same yesterday, he is the same yesterday, today and forever. So his word never changed. He will do it again. And he's doing it now. Join in prayer. God bless you. I love you. The child of God, please pray for the will of God to be done now. And his will must be done. And it is already happening.